story to tell. Chengdu J20 is the pride of China, especially with the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The plane celebrates its 10th birthday as the most advanced aircraft of the world's third largest air force, though much remains to be done to become a full-blown combat machine. The J-20 officially joined the People's Liberation Army Air Force in 2017, the same year the U.S. military began deploying F-35s to Japan. However, the J-20 is not China's early steel fighter, but also the J-31. J-31 was developed by Shenzhen Aircraft Corporation. Despite losing the J-20, Shenzhen's engineers continued to work on the design and is believed to have made significant progress. According to the U.S. website Military Watch magazine, citing Chinese state media Global Times, has confirmed that the first flight of a new class of next-generation Chinese fighter jet is expected to take place in 2021. Although the specific class of fighter is unknown, it has been speculated that the aircraft will be based on the FC-31 prototype, otherwise known as the J-31, which is a twin-engine medium-weight design. The new Shenzhen J-31 style fighter uses many of the J-20B's technologies. But experts have questioned, is the J-31 really capable of fighting? And why did China develop the J-31 where it already had the J-20? Before the Su-57 stair fighter entered service of the Russian Air Force in December 2020, China and the United States were two countries in the world that have developed and deployed fifth-generation fighters domestically. The J-20 heavy fighter entered service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force in March 2017, where the J-20B an upgraded version of the J-20, entering production in 2020. Although the new next-generation fighter referred to could be the J-20B, which is not yet thought to have flown, it was implied that an aircraft based on an entirely new airframe design will be flight-tested. The new fighter jet, most likely a new version of the J-31 stealth fighter. It is expected that the new version of the J-31 fighter will use many of the same technologies as the J-20B, including a distributed aperture system, sophisticated stealth coastings, PR-15 AESA radar guided air to air missiles, and some of the most advanced electronic warfare systems, sensors, and data links in the world. It is not clear what role the J-31 fighters can play in the People's Liberation Army. At present, the People's Liberation Army Air Force is not equipped with medium-weight fighters. Therefore, the J-31 will likely replace the oldest J-82 fighter, which are among the oldest aircraft in the People's Liberation Army infantry. 
as part of the modernization effort. The People's Liberation Army Air Force Fighter Squadron is stepping up the rational arrangement of heavy and light fighters. However, this largely depends on its performance and cost. If the new fighter's performance is considered good enough to be able to replace heavy fighters in the flanker family such as the Su-27 or J-11A, then it could have an important position in modernization plans. The new fighter is expected to be considerably cheaper to operate than the J-20, meaning it could be feared as a cheaper complement and allow the PLA to transition more quickly away from Reliance fourth generation fighters. The possibility also remains that the J 31 could be offered for export, as while the J 20 is reserved for domestic use only as a very light platform, and flanker-derived jets such as the J-11B and J-16 are not offered abroad due to agreements with Russia regarding rights to the design. Besides, the fourth-generation fighter jet market is basically saturated. To access the market, China can only export 5th generation fighters, and the J-31 is a fighter that can compete with the US F-35 and the Russian Su-57 in the export market. However, it is a long time since the China until the real combat capacity was formed. In fact, even China's main stealth fighter, the J-20, is not really complete, especially the engine, and combat prowess has not been verified. Even the United States is the country with the most experience in developing fighter jets, but the F-35 stealth fighters have yet to prove true combat capabilities. Americans still have to rely heavily on fourth generation fighters such as the F-15 and F-16. Many bugs of the F-35 have yet to be resolved. According to some unconfirmed information, China is also thought to be developing a third stealth fighter class with a lightweight single-engine design, potentially using the same engine as the J-31, primarily for foreign clients in the third core such as Pakistan, Nigeria, and Myanmar. My video of Shenzhen J-31 ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.